my name is Rosianna, my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Rosianna and I'm here today to talk to you about packing and give you some advice on how you can pack in a way that will make you feel calm and organised and make sure that you don't forget any essentials with you on your holiday. So I don't know where you're going on holiday but I'm a fan of the sun and I only ever go on sunny summer holidays where I can wear dresses and bikinis and wear flat sandals and high sandals and those be the only shoes I bring with me. It's definitely useful to bring a jacket for when those nights get a little bit colder. You've got to protect the lovely organ that is the skin so don't forget to bring after sun and sun cream, other basic cosmetic essentials, anything else you might need in case of emergencies. Sunglasses for UV protection, hairbrush to get through those beach tangles, something for a little documentation without requiring you to whip out your phone every time. How about a nice lightweight repurpose Polaroid? Polaroid? How do you even say that? Or a disposable camera, you know, you do you. The best way to keep yourself happy is a fashionable hat that also communicates something about your status. Oh, and don't forget to bring all of that random foreign change that you've been collecting all year just for this very purpose. Of course though, the most essential things to bring with you are books. I like my books physical and hefty and it feels like such an accomplishment when you're holding them and you just get through them, it's just exciting. I also think of it in terms of the five essential holiday genres. Some of these aren't genres. Feminist non-fiction. Eat Sweat Play by Anna Kessel is about the role sport is and isn't playing in women's lives. I actually made a video about this over on my channel, so uh, head over there once you're done. Creepy and slightly distant dystopia. Don DeLillo's Zero K starts out in a cryogenically freezing facility, or something of the sort. A lot of weird things are afoot and sometimes it's a little bit hard to follow, but always in an enjoyable way, and always in a way that ends with me thinking a little bit too hard about, you know, existential crises and so on. Summer friendship fiction. This reminds me a little bit of like a grown-up sisterhood of the traveling pants, you know? Like I know there has been a grown-up sisterhood of the traveling pants, but this was like that, but just like darker. And it's about four friends who meet at university and it follows them through their various years. And it just gets very intense, but it's really good. Crime. I love to bring crime books with me on holiday because I know that the moment I start reading, I won't stop reading them. I need to know what's happened, I need to know who done it, and I need to feel superior on the occasions that I do manage to guess who's done it, you know? Like, I need to feel cool and Sherlocky and Nancy Drewy, Agatha Christie. The trap was originally written in German, and there's something about foreign translated crime fiction that really just gets it for me, just gets it like this. Wow. But yeah, always bring crime with you. Not actual crime. Fictional crime. Aesthetically pleasing fantasy book involving a dragon. That's a genre. That's totally a genre. So that's my super helpful packing advice. Let me know what genres you love in comments. And also, one final tip, always bring an umbrella. You might be going to Australia, you might be going to Bali, you might be going to the Sahara Desert. I'm half British. It can rain anywhere. I know. Thanks for watching and feel free to, you know, swim over to my channel if you want to check out more of my videos too. Ow, I just hit myself against the wall. See you. Bye.